Hello guys, I welcome you all to my channel Ingenious Academy. Uh, today, we, today we are going to solve one another problem from fluid mechanics by Hepler. And the problem says that determine the specific weight of carbon dioxide when the temperature is 100 degrees C and the absolute pressure is 400 kilopascal. So now we know that the specific weight, the specific weight is represented by gamma and this is equal to the weight per unit volume. And now we know that the weight is mass times G divided by per unit volume. And we can say that the mass per unit volume is the density. So we can say that the specific weight is density times G. Now similarly, we can we know that the ideal gas equation is P. Uh, we can say that that is P into V. P V equals to MRT. And then we can say that the pressure is equal to mass divided by per unit volume R into T. And again, this mass per unit volume, this is again density. So we can say that P equals to density R times T. So now we are given the pressure, 400 kilopascal. We are given the temperature. So uh, in the ideal gas equation, we always need to use this temperature in Kelvin. So the pressure is 400 kilopascal. So let me put it. So this is 400 into 10 raised to the power 3 pascals. Uh, we are required to find, let's say this is our equation 1. So we want to find the density at this particular temperature and this particular pressure. So then we have rho and then we have to find the gas constant for carbon dioxide. So this is from appendix A of R.C. Hebler. So for carbon dioxide, the R value is 188.9 joule per kg Kelvin. So we can say that this is uh, 188.9. This is joule uh, per kg Kelvin. And the temperature is 100 degrees C. So that is 100 plus 273. So this will be in Kelvin. So now uh, we will get the density and the density is uh, mass per unit volume so that is kg uh, per meter cube. So now the, uh, we will get the density that will be equal to 400 into 10 to the power 3 and divided by that R value which is 188.9 divided by uh, we can say that multiply by 100 degrees C plus 273. So let me find this. This will be 400 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 3 divided by 188.9 multiplied by 100 plus 273. This gives us the density. So the density is 5.677 and that will be kg per meter cube. This is the density. Now if I plug in this value in this equation number one, so we will get the specific weight at that particular condition. So the specific weight of the carbon dioxide is 5.677 into G value, which is 9.81. So that will be equal to uh, this answer multiplied by 9.81. So this gives us uh, 55.691. So this is 55.691. And the units will be, again, this is the weight per unit volume. So that will be Newton per meter cube. So this is the specific weight of carbon dioxide at 100 degrees C and 400 kilopascal pressure. So this is the solution of this uh, problem from R.C. Hebler. I hope it will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Hebler Fluid Mechanics.